making my way down cave. Down cave. That should be a thing. Making my way down cave. Ugh. Right. So, not only was my question supposed to be, do I sound, do I actually sound male, but, um, has anyone ever thought that you were gay? Because apparently it's a frequent misconception that I'm a lesbian. And the justification was, um, people never saw me with my boyfriend. So automatically, apparently, that makes me gay. Like, because when I was in high school, my boyfriend didn't go to the same school. So none of them ever saw me with one. Or with him, rather. That, that would make more sense to say. Um, how did I get nighttime so fast? What the fuck? Uh, oh shit. Thank God for shift keys. I don't need seeds. You can go away. Oh, that's monster. Nope. Um, but yeah, apparently because they never saw me with my boyfriend, apparently that makes me a lesbian. Except for my friend who actually is a lesbian. <laughs> Or, uh, bisexual, I guess. Although she swings very far to the V side of the spectrum. Uh. So, yeah, when she met me, um, apparently people used to refer to me as the, um, scary, depressed girl. Which I don't know if I find flattering or insulting. Uh, shouldn't have done that. Now there's it's too much. There's too much. We have to go back. Alright. Um, but yeah. Apparently they used to call me the scary depressed girl. Everyone was afraid of me. I don't know why. It's probably because my eyes are very sensitive to light, so I always squint. But apparently it looks like I'm constantly scowling. So. Shut up, horse- <laughs> Horses, yes. Horses moo. I need one of those freaking kids toys that tells you what animals say. Like, holy crap. Um, right. So, when she met me, and we became friends, just, it, it was kind of funny. We were at my friend's 16th birthday party. That would be the end of that sentence. We were at my friend's 16th birthday party, and she was being harassed by this, uh, this girl that she, I guess, dated. And the girl was actually afraid of me, and my friend knew that she wouldn't follow her over, so she came to talk to me, and I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I guess I'll talk to you. So then we were talking, and now she's one of my three best friends. So, happy fun time. But, because, um, well, so she says, she's like, I have a very good gaydar, and I could tell just from talking to you, especially because, you know, I'm gay, so, um, I could tell that you weren't, so I don't understand what other people were talking about, and I'm just like, right, me either. It makes no sense. I don't like women. I don't like them sexually. I don't even like them as people. Like, my best friend is fine because, well, she's my best friend, and, um, we don't talk about girly crap, which annoys the hell out of me. Like, with my best friends, I talk about sports and video games and stuff. The occasional talk about sex, or therefore lack of, that everyone is getting. And then there's the discussion of 
Why am I single? Du -du 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 -du. Like, ah, shit. I didn't mean to do that. My guy best friends are bitchier and sometimes act girlier than my female best friend. Which I find both hilarious and obnoxious. Ah, shit. I don't have a spare. Time to go. We're twice. Always bring the spare. Let's get out this bitch. And actually, I'm gonna get up there. And I'm going to. Ah, shit, which way is it? Is it this way? Eh, normally I'm really good at this. No, it's not this way. Um, so yeah. My female best friend is not nearly as whiny and bitchy as my male best friends, which I find absolutely hilarious. hell. I'm just gonna screenshot that so I can come back. Where the hell did I come from? This way. I do believe it was this way. But mm, mm. Ah, fuck. Where did I come from? I didn't go through a forest. I went through plains. Plains are this way. Oh yeah, I passed the pigs. I went into the forest to get the rose bushes, got distracted, so my home is this way. Probably more to the left. Okay, um, so yeah, has anyone ever thought you were gay? And you're just kind of like, uh, no, no bro, no bueno. I don't swing like that, but it's cool if you do. I mean, what if? That could have been bad. Okay, where the fuck is my house? Where's my house? Um, I remember the coordinates to my original house. Ah, eh, fuck it, I'll teleport there. Uh, TP getting stranger to 1893, 18. Haha. -ha. Alright, so the cool thing that I decided to do was I'm in single player um, and none of it really matters so I set these things up so if I push the button I'm teleported and to go back to that I have one set up over there so this will take me to my original house I should probably edit it so that um, I use the proper coordinates, but 18 by 18 is a lot easier to remember than 12 by 26. Huh. So what do you do? Right, well, this video should be over because it's been going on for 22 minutes. Oops. Gonna be a two-parter then. Probably split it after the whole gay question. Or before the gay question. God damn, my brain is not working. I haven't slept well in the past few days. Which blows. Blows more than a leaf blower and your bomb. Sex jokes about your mother. I'm funny. You should all love me. And not want to kill me. Oh, side note. I took, um, a couple evaluation tests on the internet. And by a couple, I mean like 12. And as the internet goes, um, 
it has told me that I'm a psychopath. So, you know. Beware of me, I guess. Although people say that psychopaths have no empathy. To which I say, bitch, watch Dexter. Bro's got shit tons of empathy. Uh, but not for most people. I mean, he has plenty of empathy if he can justify killing someone because they hurt someone else. Spoiler alert. I mean, it's kind of a first episode kind of thing, but never know with some people. Um, so yeah, apparently I'm a psychopath, but I'm empathetic, so... Is it empathetic? Because it's sympathetic? But is it... I don't know. I'm a psychopath that isn't good with words. So, that's a thing. I got some clay. I don't know why. I don't really need clay. Although I have hardened clay up the ass. Not literally, because that would be mighty uncomfortable. I'm gonna fucking destroy these fucking lilacs, because fuck you. Oh! Roses. So much better. That might be the girliest thing I've said in a year. Oh my god, roses. Man. Go away. <laughs> uh. And just be festive. Roses. Everywhere. A rose for you and a rose for you. Yeah. Could put some lilacs down, but I'm allergic to lilac. So. Fuck you. Okay. Well, this is going to be the end. So... Goodbye. Have fun. Um, stay safe. Always use a condom. Don't get pregnant. Um, <laughs> always use a condom. Easy to say coming from the asexual. Whatevs. Um, I have this habit of sharing too much of my life with people I've never met. Hi, internet. How's it going? I'm talking a lot, but I guess that's good since I'm making a video. And if I didn't talk a lot, it would just be rather boring. Although I should probably work on what it is that I'm talking about. However, I don't think things through, so this is going to be the end. I'm gonna hit this pig. Mm, mm, fuck you, pig. It's not a euphemism for cops. I kind of like cops until they're after me, in which case, um, gotta run. Anyway, so, goodbye. Have fun. Oh my god, I'm doing this again. I did this exact thing as I walked out that door way. Doorway. This is no actual door. Okay, this is the end. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. It's raining. It's raining glass. What is wrong with me? Oh my god. Goodbye.